I would like to talk about being an activist in psychiatry. Being an activist in psychiatry. What does it mean? Well, to me, being an activist in psychiatry is not just the fact that I've survived psychiatry and gotten my ass out of the mental hospital physically. It means that I, yes, that I survived that, those episodes and that time and that issues and emotional burdens or what have you not that I went through at that time. It also means that I, hey, now I am outside of the hospital. I have my, my, I have my time and my computer. I have my YouTube. I have my blog. I have my Facebook. I have my Twitter. I have my pen and paper. I have my books. I have my library. I have my organizations that I can work with and get and, 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 and find information and then compare what have you. I can read and study and investigate very much just from having internet. I um I have very many friends from the so-called activist movements, the various activist movements of psychiatry, people who want change in psychiatry, people who want to have a different new approach or to end and delete psychiatry all in all as it is, because it's not doing supposedly what it could be doing and it's not doing uh, in the larger scope. Uh, any good. And that psychiatry for the five, six hundred or whatever centuries of years that existed have been nothing more than abuse of life. To me, this awareness that we stand in today, the awareness that we see from a two or three or four or ten or twenty or a hundred YouTube videos, you can see that, okay, the money system that we know of, that have been existing since many, since very many years ago, the money system, the capitalism, the death cult, slaving system of debt is a giant, giant, giant scam. Money and banking, as it have existed for many, many years, is now a scam. That is a fundament of any system, also of psychiatry. And I am 100% sure that if we had, if we can have a, a new monetary system on a total new basis of existence, of value and of purpose, we could say goodbye to endless amount of death, suffering, also within psychiatry, in psychology, in addictions, and so on and so forth. So, to me, what seems important within being an activist in psychiatry is to also to be aware that ECT is hurtful, to be aware that, that, that chemical therapy, therapy is not always that good or sufficient therapy, to know that we need exercise, to know that we need training in, in, in arts, in practice, in, in work, and to participate and experience or experience and so on and so forth. But within that, within that it is important for one to say, okay, I am here. What are the other what what is going on in education? What 
are the new progressive things going on in education that I need to be aware of from the larger picture? What are the things going on within uh, environment and nature? How is things evolving? What, is, what are the trends there? What is changing there? And so on. And to see that larger picture that things are actually happening and this is the year of creation ages of consequence I am I define myself as a mental health activist I have lots of ideas plans hopes dreams for psychiatry and for the evolution, for the changing and change of psychiatry that I would like to see in this world, in the Western, whatever psychology or psychiatry. Being an activist in psychiatry, in, in, in this mental health care environment doesn't only mean that we travel to this and that conference and participate with this and that and stay in this and that hotel and do all this traveling and end up in the media or get a, get a glimpse in the, in, the, in the TV or in the, in the newspaper. It is also about, I mean, we have all these possibilities and opportunities with sharing. We must use what we can to share opinions, dreams, values, whatever estimates, whatever concepts that we have that we know it's important for us and for our specificity as of psychiatry, as of psychology, as of monetary systems also, as of education, which is, the fun which is also one of the fundaments of our society, as of law, as of money, as of education, as of environment, as of communication, as work, and so on. To know that drive, to know those tools that are being used within environmental care. What are the trends? How, what, how do they get their words out? What about about uh, peace, uh, war and peace programs. What is the trends? What is, what is the activist doing? What are their tools? What are their tools that I can use in psychiatry and psychology? What are the tools being used in the progressive new schooling environment? What is it there they say that we need to focus on in, 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 in the new school environment? What is the overall picture that I can see that, okay, go like this and that and that, and not be too deterministic and lock myself into this, this or that mindset and that only exclude everything else? No. In 2016, it's important to be open minded and to to be open minded and to de-school, unschool oneself from all the programming, all the emotional burden, all the systems, all the psychology that I've been carrying with me from all my years. To unschool it, to forgive it with myself. So, I have a dream of creating a user's co-op co in psychiatry. I also have a dream of seeing ECT as banned from psychiatry treatment as, as a treatment method. I would also like to see less usage of chemical therapy and more focus on, 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 on um, exercise and daily walks, working out, painting, dancing, swimming, theater and so on. All these things that we know helps in that situation. Writing therapy, self-forgiveness, self-corrections. Mindfulness, family, things that is important as of, as, of our, as of our physical existence, what food we eat, 
So, I have a dream of creating a co-op cooperative in mental health care and psychiatry. What I mean by that is that I would like to see people coming from psychiatry that have survived, that have been through some stuff, that have worked some shit out, that I can write, that I've written out some stuff and said, okay, now I'm here, I have capacity to, I have, I have opportunity to, I have opportunity to uh, take on some work, responsibility, help others, help others and, and, and work in team and, 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 and sort of get back at, get, get back into work sort of from having survived psychiatry, been through some time, some months or some years with that aware, with that, with self healing, with self help. And from there, uh, from there, uh, being able to assist and support others in the, in, in, in the, in the, in the further process. So, I would not. I would wouldn't exclude nurses or doctors or or or, or, or physicians from a working environment from a users co-op. I would say that they, they they could be there too. With their with their schooling and their background, they could also be in a in a users corporate co-op co co uh, owning their share of the of the work of the work of the of the business. But the Fundamental idea is to have people with that experience of psychiatry to be to, to 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 work and to have that responsibility and ownership of their own users co-op. And perhaps perhaps not, perhaps we shouldn't have nurses or psychologists at all and just have that users experience. As a, a, a as a principle, and then or then or, or rather, and 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 uh, and uh, use psychologists or nurses or what have you, in 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 uh, secondary or in other cases. Now, I would I, I would like to, I, I would hope for you to, to open up with me and, and share with me what you think about this. What you think about this use of cooperative in mental health care. What could we do if you live in India, if you live in New Zealand, or in China, or in Sweden, or Canada, Argentina, Algeria, South Africa, wherever you live, please just contact me, drop me a line, and we can talk because because um, we need this change. We have we have so many solutions. Actually, we have all the solutions we, we possibly need. I mean. Look at how look at drought in this world. How how important how how we how we important the the ecosystem and rain is and just that awareness that so many people are suffering from lack of water. I live in Norway. Here is plenty full of water. But that awareness that in India and in Pakistan or in Africa or somewhere they are suffering and have to travel long long distances to get water. And that awareness could, could like grow like a cancer within me, thinking that how unjust, how, how insane, how bad system had I grown into this? Psychiatry, psychology. And also understand that within this, within this, all the bullshit I see going on in this world, all the hatred, all the fear, all the all the ego, all the wars, all the atrocities, all the abuse going on in this world that I see in my world. All of it is related back to myself and my experience and my living according to my mind consciousness system. So within so without, so above, so below. That is how we are designed and programmed and so on and so forth. So uh, I would, I, 
I have this, I have a dream that people who, people who are in, in psychiatry, survival group, movement activists, would please share some more of their stories. Please share some more of, of their ideas as of today, the summer of 2016. Please open up a YouTube account and talk or a SoundCloud account and just blah, 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 let it all out. Let us hear, okay, there's that point, there's this point, here's that method, here's that therapy method, here's this uh, incident, here's what happened, here's the problem, solution, reward. Then we can share. We have a very large potential to share a great deal more within the, within the activist movements. If you live in Denmark or Germany or Sweden or United States, you know this, that we have a lot of people out there who are just out there, who could, have, who could, who could actually be sharing a lot more about their stories, about their awareness, about their solutions, so that everybody could have that. So I would hope that not only those profiled people in, in, in people are there, I would, I would, my dream is that all people from psychiatry that have a that could have that could have benefit from it would share their story on SoundCloud or on YouTube or on some some uh, some sort of oh, some sort of getting it out there, and letting people know that okay this this happened to her at this time when she was in Hungary or whatever or this this story what went on within in Australia. And now he's here, and all that happened, and, and such a story that connects us, that keeps us driving forward for a better world for all. Towards uh, utopia, if you like, of course, of course. So I would hope that we could share our experience, our solutions, so we can all gain from each other's uh, Oh, um, awareness and from each other's solutions, from gain from each other's perspective and view and knowledge and information. So uh, there, there is a lot of untold stories. Yes, we know that. There, and, and, and there's a lot of people who don't have a voice, who don't have internet, who don't have YouTube available. But there's also a very many million people who have internet, who have YouTube, who have SoundCloud, who have all these things that is not heard. And we need to hear their voices. We need to share problems, solutions, we need to share what solutions are out there and our perspective. And let's keep sharing, let's keep moving this. Uh, psychiatry into a better place for all included and use those cool methods that we know exist, that we have under our nails, so that it's just there, we know they work, we have seen it in work, and we know it works and we can create a better world. Let's make it happen. Thank you very much.